time we'll discuss the JavaScript. Um, we will uh, do some tricks right here how to use the document object model using this console. Okay, so uh, we have here okay the different commands how to activate your JavaScript program. Okay, so let's say we have the command of alert. Okay, you can see here the hello command. Okay, for example, let's say far. Okay, asked calls to prompt, then you enter the name. Okay, so we have the variable asked, and then let's say we enter the name. Okay, Rob. Okay, now these are the examples of your JavaScript simple command. Okay, for example, uh, we need to uh, check the all limits. Of course, the limits composed of different tags, and inside elements, you can use the properties. Okay, so we need to use the document that let's say we can say uh, body. Let us check the body. So, the body now, okay, so this is the body. This is the content of our uh, HTML. Okay, as you can see, we have the aquarium right here. Okay, you have here the class. So, the class theme is slide theme animation theme. Okay. Okay, let's see more document that timeline. Let us check the date. Timeline. So when you press the enter key, you can see the current time. Okay. So this is part of your document object model. So the document object model will uh, it interface and reacts to your uh, elements and to your to the HTML properties. Okay. So for example, okay, uh, we are doing now the basic uh, commands, dissecting the different commands of your JavaScript. The var is used to declare the variable. We can use also the cons. So cons is different to var because var is used to declare a public, um, what do you call this? Public variable. So cons is what? For example, we have the cons, x. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. As you can see, cons x equals 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. X is, okay, cons, x, x plus 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So we have here the undefined. Uh, we have already uh, stored this array of 2, 4, 54 inside x, x. So if you want to display this array, okay, you can see that we have the three array right here. So we have here the index of 0. So this is the offset 0. This is 0, 2. Okay. This is 1, 4. This is 2, 54. The purpose of the index is to, uh, you know, to tag the offset address of every element inside. So this is 0, 1, 2. Okay. Now, if you want to check, okay, uh, this variable again, okay, we have still three uh, arrays inside. But if we change the value of 2, we can say xx. Because the address of 2 is 1, we can say the address of uh, 2 is 0, okay? We can change this to, like, for example, 100. Now, if we print again the value of array, the array, now we have here, x, x, so it will change to 0, 4, 54. Okay, for example, um, how to create a function, basic function? So we can use the function, like, uh, name, one string one okay and then we can say return what string one okay plus uh, plus okay 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 and then we end it here so this is now uh, a function that will return the value of string okay so we have the first parameter here string one inside the name of the function now, if, you, if we execute this program, what will happen? All right. Let's say we have here name one, and you print your name, you, you print what hello. So it will say hello, okay. So this is the, the first parameter, but we add another what? Um, string statement right here. So it will become what? Hello, okay. So again, we will again. Uh, erase this program okay we will copy it right here okay we will give a space right here so plus 
token. All right. Now let us use this function. What name one? Let's say hello. Okay, so we have the space now. Hello plus okay. So this is the full purpose of this console. This is to um, practice your JavaScript. It's just like you're doing the prototyping. Now, this statement is equivalent to the arrow function program. You can use the arrow function to create your uh, JavaScript uh, macro function. Macro function is just like a shortcut type of statements. Okay. For example, the name of the function is name1. So what will happen to name1 if you will use the arrow function? Okay, for example, we have here const. And then we have name2. Then you have string1. Then use the arrow function. Okay. And then say return hello plus plus string one. Let us change this to string two. Okay, this is not to uh, uh, make it conflict to our previous uh, example. Okay, so we have here the return statement. Now we have here the name two. So this function is very much the same to the previous function. The only difference is we need we use only the arrow functions to return the value of the string hello and of course the parameter of string two. Now if we print your name, say for example Jorge, it will say hello Jorge. Now how will you know if the variable is a number or if it is a string of, or if it is an array? For example, we have here var hello plus two hello it's very simple so the, it is very obvious that hello is a string but again if you want to check that we can use what we can use the command of type of and then you have to say hello this is a variable so that is a string if you declare a variable like okay a uh, record so this is what we have here Joe Corp Ma. Okay. Now this is an array. Okay. If you want to check if this is an array, you have to use what type of, and then you have to type the variable. What is that variable again? The variable is record. So that is object of an array. Okay. Like for example, we have here const price equals to. Okay. So let us type type of price. So that is a number. All right. So this is very simple. We started with a simple uh, JavaScript command using the document object. Um, what you call this statement? And we are using the uh, list or array to display the index and the item. And we have here uh, creating the functions using the arrow functions. Okay, for example, uh, we will create our function to uh, display the index and the item. How to do that? Okay, for example, we have here var record one. Then we have here, let's say apple guava then grapes and then we have here um, banana okay we discussed this a while ago so we have here apple guava so the index of the apple is zero the guava is one grapes is two banana is four the index is just like an offset now if you want to create a function for this very simple okay let us use this function my uh, record so we put the here the index the index will display the offset the item will display the list okay now we'll say console that log and say of course we have here uh, offset is plus index plus then plus of course we have here uh, let's say items 
plus. Okay. So we have the two we have two parameters right here. So the purpose of index is to display each of these index address or offset. The purpose of the item is to display the value inside the address. Okay. So we will end it here. Now if you want to call that program, it's very simple. So we declare the record as our array here. So we will call the uh, record and um, reference it to, uh, to our function. So we can uh, use this thing or uh, use this command. We use for each. What's the purpose of for each? This is to loop the statement and call the functions and display the list or display in the index rather and the items. Let's say I will call my record to display okay the list all right so we have here the output so it will display offset is okay offset is apple items zero offset is index guapa items one items two for grapes items three four banana the offsets for Apple is zero, right? Right here. The offset of what you call this of uh, the offset of uh, guava is one. Okay, that is one. Offset of grapes is two. Offset of banana is three. All right. So I think you have the basic, and of course, you can go further and check this thing this is how you uh, dissect the um, javascript commands okay so please don't forget to share and like and subscribe in this channel thank you